Putting the preferential option for the poor at the service of human dignity was this year's theme for the Dignitatis Humana Institute's annual meeting in the Vatican. It's a very important topic for Pope Francis. This conference will be a contribution to what the Pope says, the, to, uh, for the pre preferential option for the poor, uh, because uh, among human beings, the poor are the most, uh, the most persecuted, the most uh, uh, needy. And so uh, everybody should uh, 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 start his or her own action uh, in, in the church, uh, giving preference to the poor. One of the speakers was Flaminia Giovanelli, the highest ranking laywoman in the Roman Curia. I tried to answer a question that was the title of my talk, which is, why does the church have that preferential option for the poor? So I used it to talk about this year's Lenten message of the Holy Father, in which he speaks exactly about that, and about the different concepts of poverty and misery. It's all summarized in that expression, culture of waste. I would say that it's good to have this theme, not only because it's a topic that Pope Francis insists on a lot with respect to poverty and misery, but also because it seems that historical conditions are repeating themselves. So, since past times are being repeated, it is a bigger reason to talk about this. It's a very moving conference. I felt that just now we had a, a, a speaker who spoke about uh, uh, the richness of, uh, of getting uh, uh, the value, uh, the love for the poor, and this was something absolutely uh, absolutely enriching. So I, I, I am still uh, meditating on, on what I'm learning here, which is very interesting. It's about knowing what the church asks for when it talks about the poor. Sometimes we have the wrong idea that prayer is only about petition, and we have the wrong idea that God, who is indeed our Father and provides, is going to come to solve what we as human beings are called to do. In that sense, it's a duty for us Christians, when we pray for the poor, to infect ourselves with that love that God has for the poor, that Jesus had for the poor. And this will then move us to take action. Prayer that isn't accompanied by action is a prayer that's far from reality, because God uses us humans to be able to take action. For more information on the Institute, visit www.dignitatishumanae.com.